With all the stuff out there on the internet about the keto diet right now, it's so hard to just get down to what the basic benefits are. I'm talking about the three most important benefits when it comes down to the ketogenic diet. And not just any ordinary benefits, but legit benefits that aren't just some harebrained, esoteric reason why the keto diet is great. We're talking good, good, solid, concrete stuff. Hey, I'm Thomas DeLauer. I'm the lead trainer and head nutritionist over at sixpackabs.com. I'm also the creator of the world's leading ketogenic protocol known as the Ketox program. So let's start with resting metabolic rate. All right, so normally when you lose weight, your resting metabolic rate decreases. For example, if a 200 pound person loses 50 pounds, they've just lost a quarter of their weight, which means their metabolism is going to decrease by a significant amount because their weight decreased. But what's interesting is that with the ketogenic diet, even when subjects lose weight, their resting metabolic rate stays elevated. For example, there's a study that was published in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism, took a look at subjects over the course of four weeks that went in the 600 to 800 calorie deficit and ultimately lost about 45 pounds on average over the course of four months. They had no change at all in their resting metabolic rate, even though they lost the weight. So their metabolism stayed as if they were still 45 pounds heavier. So that would be like that 200 pound person losing 50 pounds, but still having the metabolism of a 200 pound person. All right, next up is gonna be something known as CCK, cholecystokinin. Now cholecystokinin is one of the most powerful hunger hormones that you have in your body. You see, CCK facilitates digestion, or more so satiety. So if we end up having higher levels of CCK, we end up having a higher level of satiety. So it ends up making it so we don't feel like we need to eat as much. This is very important, but again, normally when people lose weight, they have a pretty significant reduction in CCK. For example, take one study that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Took a look at subjects that lost weight over an eight week period, okay? Now, in that eight week period, they saw a significant decrease in CCK. Okay, they saw their levels drop. But after just one week on a ketogenic diet, their CCK levels went back up to normal. So, hypothetically speaking, people could lose a good amount of weight and they could actually get their CCK levels back up to normal as if they were a heavier weight just by being on a keto diet. So the keto diet could, even in adjunct to other diets, be very powerful at making sure that you restore that satiety. But there's another component to this, ghrelin. See, ghrelin is the hunger hormone. High levels of ghrelin make you hungry. Low levels of ghrelin make you satisfied. So the interesting thing is that the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition actually published a study that found on the ketogenic diet, it suppressed ghrelin levels. So not only are you losing weight, you're losing weight while increasing CCK and while decreasing ghrelin and while keeping your resting metabolic rate elevated. So faster metabolism with less appetite, pretty darn powerful. And then lastly, the brain performance side of things. You see, there was even a study that was published in Molecular Brain Research that found that the ketogenic diet did some really interesting things when it came down to our genes. It improved gene expression for specific encoding of her mitochondrial efficiency. So what that means is that it improved the genetic ability to help the mitochondria be more efficient. The mitochondria is where we create energy. So when we have mitochondria in the brain, that's gonna make our brain more powerful. So if we change the genetic structure, that makes it so that when our cells actually multiply and divide in our brains, we're getting cells that have more brain power, more mitochondrial power, therefore literally making you smarter and making you have more brain power. So so now you're a leaner, meaner, faster metabolism, fully satisfied person that doesn't really need to eat that much, that has an amazing brain that can do lots of crazy cool things. So those are the main three benefits of the ketogenic diet. Sure, you're gonna lose weight. Sure, you're gonna perform great. Sure, everything's gonna be great. Your libido's gonna be great. Your hormones are gonna be great. But let's not forget the three basic ones. Your metabolism, your appetite, and your brain. As always, keep it locked in here at sixpackabs.com and I'll see you in the next video.